Welcome to our show. It's another week and another one of Harness Racing's fastest paced half hours. And come on in, set a spell, take your shoes off, relax. It'll be good. And if it's your first time, I promise we'll be gentle. Hi, I'm Steve Ross, and this lovely lady to my right is my on air partner, Heather Moffat. But you can call her Heather Moffat. <laughs> and Heather's got the big race for Phillies and Mares that took place right here at Harris Chester on Monday, correct? That's right. The Tell Phillies us all and about Mares that, Open. Babe. Yep. Right. The Phillies and Mares Open. The three I want you to look out for. Sports Fancy. She was actually my pick last week, mm -hmm. but um, she ended up not winning. But she was second. And we're going to look at Go On BB, who actually did win her last time out, and Enhance the Knight, who is the favorite in here. So who's your pick, Sports Fancy? Yes. Again, I got to stick with for Sports Fancy. All right. Here's James with the call. <laughs> Go on, BB is fast off the wing. Sports fancy and cruising for a living show. Speed down at the inside is Little Miss Dragon. They enter the first turn, and it's Go on, BB strung out by Sports Fancy, and these two are two and a half clear of cruising for a living. Enhanced the night is parked for mid pack, some six and a half off the lead. Then comes Little Miss Dragon with Maker Bark. Sail away is at the outside of Dream a while from the back of the pack. They're strung out over about 14 lengths, and it's Go on BB, a length and three quarters in front of Sports Fancy, who is second by three and a half. Cruising for a living is a rated third. The quarter was 27 and one. They come past us for the first time. Go on BB continues to lead by a length and a half. Sports Fancy tracks from the pocket. Enhance the night is driven up first over from Cruising for a living. Little Miss Dragon is second over, moving into the bridge turn. Maker Bark is angled third over. She's four and a half from the front. Dream a while saves ground from the back of the pack. She's too clear of trailers. Sail away. Eight and a half covers the lot through a half of 56 and three. And it's go on BB. Still in front of length and a half. Enhance the night is a joint second with Sports Fancy. Little Miss Dragon is second over. Just three off the lead. No room for cruising for a living. Maker Bark has four and a half to make up from third over. Dream a while is slightly gapped at the cones. And excess cover remains in front of Sail Away. She is six and a half off go on BB as they approach the far turn. Go on BB leads by a diminishing half length. Enhance the night inches closer on the outside, and she's beginning to stall a bit. Three quarters in 123 and three. Midway around the far turn, it's Go on BB clinging to a one length lead. Enhance the night is dropping back from the outside of Sports Fancy. Cruising for 11 is in tight quarters. Little Miss Dragon has five to make up, 150 to go. It's Go on BB by three parts of a length. Sports Fancy is closing in. Well, that was pretty simple. Sports Fancy gets a great trip, ends up winning with George Brennan. And what was so interesting, though, is it went super fast in 151 and 1. And mm -hmm. she paid $18.40. Go on BB cut the fractions, and she was second. Mm -hmm. And then third was Cruising for a Living, which was one of the long shots. And uh, we're going to talk with George Brennan about that winning drive. Let's do that. 151 and 1. That was a seasonal best. And did you know that the Open Girls went faster than the Open Boys this week? No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I just know she raced really well. Now, this isn't the first time you drove her. Actually, what's well, the first time for Josh Green? But you drove her, I think, in March, didn't you? I raced her in March for Marquez Model. And uh, she was a little over her head that night up in the Meadowlands. And we <clears throat> just raced her, went around. And she raced pretty good. And then Josh got her after that. Well, I know that you are thankful for all your big wins this year, but what else are you thankful for? You, you know, I'm just thankful, honestly, to, just to be healthy and, you, you know, getting through life every day, you, you know, and, uh, you know, I got a simple outlook at it, and uh, as long as I can stay healthy and show up every day, you know, things will fall into place. Well, I know you got in an accident this year, so I didn't get a chance to tell you. Welcome back, and it's nice to see you. Well, thanks very much. I appreciate that. Okay, stay with us. When we come back, we're going to have a talk with the Marshal here at Harris Chester. Who is the Marshal? You'll find out, but this one is a special person because he's also a decorated war hero. NF quotable guy. Why do so many winners ball. travel in EB trailers? They love the ride. EB Pay Center trailers deliver your horses in peak condition, ready to race every time. Designed to provide safe and comfortable transport for standard bred racehorses, EB's Pace Center Series trailers are the preferred choice of professional standard bred trainers and breeders nationwide. All EB Pace Center models feature custom standard bred options. 
and excellent airflow and aligned interior ceiling to keep your horses fresh and comfortable. Every EV trailer has commercial quality componentry and riveted sidewall construction engineered and designed to stand up to constant and rigorous horse and road use. And a sleek aerodynamic nose design that also delivers improved fuel savings. More winners ride with EV than any other trailer. EV, setting the pace in standard red horse transportation.